pesticides in the food are a big concern for a lot of people. They cause a number of unpleasant issues like diabetes, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But how do you check the food that you eat for safety? Well, there is a device that can tell you whether the food you eat is safe. And today we're going to test it. On the outside, fruits can look the same, but on the inside they can be very different. Over the last 50 years the population has increased and the process of how we grow our food has changed a lot as well. We now have more pesticides in our food than ever before. You can just buy the food at your local store and blindly trust the grower and the seller and hope for the best, or you can take your own destiny into your own hands. Today we have three types of food from two different stores. Whole Foods, a high-end grocery store selling organic food and supplements, and TNT, which is our local cheap grocery store. From each store we purchased a mango, an apple and a kiwi. Using the tester, we're going to check the nitrate content level in each of them to see if there is any difference in organic versus conventionally grown and GMO. The device works with fruit, vegetables and meat. You need to select the item from the list, remove the cap, clean the filler meter, insert it and click start. The device will measure the nitrate content and compare the reading against the appropriate preloaded levels for that particular type of food. The normal content in the kiwi is shown on the device. The first kiwi from the expensive store is safe to eat as expected. But what about the cheaper one? The cheaper one also has a low enough nitrate content. Interesting result. This means that the both organic expensive kiwi and a cheaper one are both within the safe margin for consumption. The organic mango is also safe to eat. That was to be expected. But the main purpose of the test is to see how safe the cheaper ones are compared to their more expensive alternatives. The mango from the cheaper store is also showing a safe nitrate level. The apple test is going to be the most interesting one because the thin peel of it is the most susceptible to pesticides out of the three. If anything is going to be less safe to consume because of the nitrate content, this is likely going to be our apple. The apple from Whole Foods tested safe, but what about the cheaper one? This is going to be interesting. Inserting the filler needle in and waiting for results. Well, the results are in and the apple is also safe to eat, despite the low price. So despite the fact that the products were purchased for a very different price, the nitrate content in all of them is within the safe margins for consumption. We really wanted to see something sensational, but this is the result we got. If you have any suggestion on what products are going to have the highest nitrate content, let us know in the comments so we can test them.